Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. So today uh, we're gonna be putting on some suspension for the Elantra. As you can see from the last video, we have the arrow. The wheels look good, the fitment looks good. So obviously we need a little drop to kill the uh, little fender gap. So I have in front of me some stor Storm Springs. So these are from Korea. I will drop the link in the bio below. Uh, there's no one really making springs for this car because I, I mean there's not much people modding this car in the first place so but hopefully we'll give a lot of opportunities to people that you know plan to buy Elantra to get into the modding scene but uh let's go straight into it these are these uh sport springs so they have comfort and sport so the comfort from uh the guys at uh, storm when they contacted me they're saying that the comfort ones drop 0.6 versus the sport which drops 0.8 so obviously, you know how it is out there, Briggs. We like driving low and braking stuff, you know? That's what we do. So the lower it is, the better it is. Obviously, um, camber might need to be adjusted too on this. Uh, we might need some camber bolts. But we'll see first after we lower the car. This is my first time putting springs on a Hyundai, so I'm not doing it. And uh, Kevin, Kevin's uh, busy at Ely Rav, so he can't do it today. So I'm gonna drop the car off at our buddies at Temple City Auto Repair, which is another good friend of mine. But we'll talk about that later. But anyways, here's the box. I like their, uh, I like their, their design. It's pretty cute. It's a spring with eyeballs. <laughs> you know what this look like? <laughs> Dude, I say. It looks like um, binoculars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, in the package, we have, uh, oh, these are red too. I don't know what color they come in. So check them out. Looks super. I believe that's for the rears, and uh, these are for the fronts. Yep. So very nice. Oh, the last video, you guys didn't see the diffuser where we added the uh, pin strip. Guys, yeah, so we have that pin strip right here. We added even the the middle side and the bottom just to get a little bit extra, you know, um, contrast. So for those that want the red, you know, we have this in white, black, and gold too. You know? oh, Whatever. Yeah, option. What but yeah, oh, here's the uh, tape measure. So, 0.8, Jerry. You want to show them where, where, how much 0.8 is going to drop? So, all right, bro. You start from the one. So, you should start from the one right here. And then 0.8, so, which is about right here, drop. So, not too bad, huh? It's going to be like... Yeah, it's right going to be It's gonna be at the wheel. Maybe with some camber. We'll see. I'm very excited. So, we're going to head to um, our buddies, Temple City Auto Repair, Henry and John. Um, they say we might get the car back Monday, which is fine. Um, because not going anywhere anytime soon and yeah so uh enjoy these bureaus coming up oh jerry <laughs> so i also <laughs> this is hilarious guys so i also bought a hood sorry a bumper emblem for me i'm not a big fan of this big h you know it reminds me of a uh, i don't know it's just too big you know it's all in my face and i don't want it so i'm trying to get it deleted so in korea there's this company that sells this uh delete which goes straight over this. So as you can see, there's a little groove here. It has like an empty slot, so you can remove this and pop this on. But my dumb ass, <laughs> first of all, I'm not sure if it's my fault or their fault, okay? But anyways, I, I came in after like three weeks. <laughs> Look at the color I got. <laughs> okay, it looks good. It looks good though. So imagine without the emblem, it's it's gonna, you know, be flat and it looks amazing. No, 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 I'm saying this color looks good. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have red <laughs> instead, huh? But yeah, obviously the colors, off. I think our cyber gray. I think I got some other kind of gray, but anyway, this kind of looks like the iconic, the ionic. Black. Oh, oh yeah. But anyway, so instead, you gonna of, get out? instead of sending it back, I'm gonna have to um, go to our shop and get it repainted. But yeah, that's that. It was like, I need to see that looks a lot better, right, on camera? How's, yeah. how's it look, Jerry? No more emblem. It looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go for that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head to the our friend shop right now. Get a spring and saw, uh, and hopefully we don't rub because I think we might rub. I don't know. Let's find out. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We just picked up the car back from our buddies at Temple State Auto Repair. Here's the link. If you don't know, if you're in SoCal, they do the best alignments. They have the best higher prices, like hands down. And they sell, you know, a bunch of wheels and stuff. So you should hit them up if you guys need any of those stuff. But as you can see, the car looks a lot lower right now. Not much, in my opinion. I thought it would go a little bit lower, but uh, we had like about a two finger and a half gap. Now it's like a little, a tight two finger. Uh, it was a 0.8 drop, so. You know, I think it's pretty clean, no rubbing at all on a two, what is it, a 245, 40 tire, so, wait, is it 245? Yeah. So a 245, 40 tire, no, t no rubbing. So if you do run an eight and a half with the exact same setup, as you can see, it's pretty flush against fender. Uh, we might get some camber bolts just to, in the front. It's a little bit more camber. But other than that, the fitment looks 
amazing, no rubbing. We're gonna take a car for a ride real quick, get some B-rolls for you guys, and then uh, it's a short video today. So, oh, also we have side stairs coming next week. And then our front lip is almost, not the split lip, but the lip itself is almost finished for its development. Very excited for that. And then we gotta do the uh, window visors. Oh, that looks so sexy. I think, I think Jerry, that's what's missing, Jerry. Window visors, all right? Yeah, maybe like if we load a little bit more, it'll look a little bit better, but honestly, you know, our WX is not drivable at all. I mean, it is, but you know, this is a very functional setup. This is good for the track, good for the canyons, good for the streets, get to smoke anything that comes in your way because we've got the ammo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's it for uh, this short video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Enjoy these sick B-rolls because the weather is beautiful today. So we're gonna take advantage of this really bipolar SoCal weather. And then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.